Officer Amanda Eads is not on the road long before she makes her first traffic stop. You were going 52 back there in a 35. That's dangerous enough without lots of snow on the road, but there's an even bigger threat this Burton police officer and fellow law enforcement officers are looking for New Year's Eve. How many drinks did you have tonight? I had two drinks. Two? Okay. Officer Eads needs to find out if the driver is drunk. Now that means a sobriety test that includes balance. One, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. I need you to follow the tip of my finger with only your eyes. Don't okay. move your head, okay? Finally, there's the breathalyzer. Do you know what the legal limit is? I, um, I think it's 0.08, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You're only at a 0.01 right now, so it's okay. well under. Still, the driver is written up for having an expired tag. Meanwhile, the tag of this car is fine, but that's not why the driver is stopped. Take a look at what Officer Eats finds inside it. It looks like a New Year's Eve party has taken place in the front seat, and that's not the only place. More beer cans are found in the trunk, and you have a pretty good idea where this is going. Open up your mouth. There you go. Blow. Okay, You're going to have to blow a lot harder than that. Do you know the le legal blood alcohol limit? Yeah. What is it? It's um, one okay, something. Clear. It's 0.08. Slide out of there for me, young lady. And you're a 0.1 right now, okay? Okay. Come, come out of there. It's not a good start to the new year for this lady. She's arrested for drunk driving, and she's not alone. Dave Laval, NBC 25 News. I can't believe we're alive. I honestly can't believe that we're alive. 19-year-old Stephanie Ashenden says it was around 6 a.m. on the 4th of July when her friend Carolyn Skodak smelled smoke. That's when she tried getting her three other friends in the house up and out. They all had stayed the night celebrating Carolyn's 21st birthday. You cannot breathe. You can't even see what's in front of your face because the smoke is so black. And Stephanie was slowly losing consciousness. And she ripped out the screen of the window and pushed my head out so I could breathe. Some of my friend's legs were so hot that their skin was just like sticking together. And it was horrible. Next thing I know it, Carolyn's telling me that she couldn't handle it anymore. We were getting burned in our back. That's when Carolyn went to the window ledge and dangled her body out the window. I kind of like was like just like <laughs> like like floating down and my feet hit the ground and then like it was like my heels and I went bam. That's when Stephanie spotted this fire ladder and jumped, but her hands missed. And I kicked out my foot and that's when I got caught in the ladder by my foot and I was hanging by just my one leg. And if it wasn't for that, I probably would have fell as well. I just pulled, I just whipped myself up and I don't even, I don't remember getting my leg untangled. I Stephanie climbed down and saw Carolyn on the ground. Today, Carolyn has a broken tailbone, two fractures in her spine, and a slipped disc. I was like, I'm not dying here, and this is retarded. I'm not going to burn to death. Both have bruises, but they say they're happy to be alive. I thank God that he made me wake up, you know, because if I would have woke up, I would have been dead too, so. Esther Miller, NBC 25 News. Dedication, time, and hard work. You have to like, give up a lot, like to come into the gym every day, and like you sometimes you don't get to hang out with your friends. But I'd definitely say it was worth it. The Junior Olympic team at AGA Gymnastics in Flint trains nearly 30 hours a week. Some of them aspiring to one day land a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. I think I have to work a lot harder and. Um, it's going to be a challenge, but I think it'd be fun to go to the Olympics one day. Tessa Bowman, along with her teammates, are looking forward to watching the women's U.S. gymnastics team compete this month in Beijing. Um, a lot of young gymnasts look up to the Olympians, hoping to be there one day. Beautiful. I definitely like Alicia Sacramon. She tried out last year and didn't make it, and just the fact that she worked hard enough and went past that just to try out again and make it really makes her important to me. Other girls on the team are rooting for 16-year-old Sean Johnson. Just got to do it like in the gym. One of the top female gymnasts in the world. Because she's like a new gymnast and I want to see her do well because she's very well prepared. But while some of these young athletes hope to wear the red, white and blue someday, others like 17-year-old Kayla Cardo has already reached her dream. A full-ride gymnastics scholarship to George Washington University.